Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on your time and depending on when you're going to be seeing this video. It's your brother, your boy, Cost Reps Corner. Like I always tell you guys, it's my corner, it's your corner, and it's a corner. I don't wanna fall in love. I just wanna have some fun. Actually, uh, my name is Maxwell Opera. I started uh, working with a chief as a student uh, activist. In fact, um, when we normally come from Enugu to Abuja, when we come to see high chief, he will listen to you. And if, you are, if your own argument is superior to his own, chief will surrender. You don't want to know whether you're a student, you are where you're coming from. And as a lawyer, I've been working with him. He brought me into that communication as one of the legal analysts. And any time, we really agree. We, we normally disagree in issues. But after my own uh, um, submission, he will ask me, what is your reasoning? Max, what is your reasoning for arising to this? And if I said, okay, I answer off. On so many, because he's not a lawyer, but when it comes to constitutional issue, chief would like to argue with you. And he said, look at what the, immediately you bring another superior argument, Chief will surrender. In fact, yesterday I was down in spirit while trying to make make up, trying to see how Nigeria, only for me to open my WhatsApp, I saw what Professor Chira Nikalu sent to me, that Chief is no more. I said, please, I don't need a joke now, I'm annoyed. He said, no, it's true. Until I started seeing it, I started making calls, and I confirmed that it's true. We don't have anything to say um, than to say, uh, um, uh, he so rest in peace and we also plead with this government that just came up yesterday you know what high chief Raymond Dobesi stand for the only um, um, good thing you can do to chief is to make sure that all those good Nigeria he aspired for you achieve it that is the, the, the only thing we are asking the new government that's the only thing that will may help high chief Raymond Dobesi to rest in peace I also sympathize with the entire that family and the immediate family. Something that has a beginning must have an end. My wife said, no, chief, uh -uh, so young, I said, it's not, it's not how far, it's how well. It's 71 years of fulfillment, 71 years of empathment, 71 years of resourcefulness, 71 years of uh, uh, truth. So uh, that's the much I, I have to say. Thank you very much. Um, great shock that we at Luxterra have received the news of the passing of my dear friend. Um, we have known since 2001 and um, we have been close friends since then. And uh, uh, I spoke to him uh, less than two weeks ago, about 10 days ago, I communicated with him because we marked 10 years of the chapel, Luxterra Chapel. And he has been a part of that chapel. He has been part of the um, of our progress uh, and uh, we have uh, aired our programs at AIT for the past 10 years by his uh, generosity and, um, I, and I have met so many people who have given testimony to how much he has touched their lives I mean he he was a phenomenal person, really phenomenal human being and uh, I am happy that before his passing a biography has either been concluded or is ongoing. So I'm very happy about that, that people can read about him, read his efforts in various areas of development in this country and emulate him. And his efforts to, to bring Nigerians together. I mean, um, he speaks of Bamanga Toko as his father, he speaks of Peter Odile as his brother, he speaks of, so from north to south and east and west, he made friends. And uh, he, 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 he was very consistent uh, in many things, which is why we never saw him, like many Nigerian politicians, jumping from one political party to the other. He remained in PDP from the beginning to the end, uh, meaning that is his belief. So I, I, I want to thank God for the life he lived. None of us was expecting to hear this. But I want to thank God for the life he lived. I had happened to be the one that preached at his 60th birthday and I preached at his 70th birthday. Um, and I pleaded with him to slow down. Unfortunately, he walked until the end. But 
perhaps that's the way, that's the calling he had from God to walk every day of his life until the very end for national development, for the development of communication in this country, uh, for, the, for the freedom of the press, uh, and to give Nigerians voice. I still, I know that AIT, um, that communication, one of the few organizations in this country that has this corporate social responsibility that people who are desperate can come to AIT and say, look, I want you to announce that I have this kidney problem, or I have this heart problem, and they will just schedule a person and do it. I have, I have actually um, supported some of them to get to AIT, whether here or in Lagos. So I'm grateful to God for the life he lived, and I can only pray that God will sustain this enterprise that he has spent his life putting together. I mean, the, the greatest honor we can do to Chief uh, Dr. C is to ensure that what he started does not go down. The greatest legacy that what we can do to honor him is to ensure that his family is well taken care of, to ensure that his uh, enterprise, the dark communication, and all his subsidiaries, that we ensure that is sustained to the glory of God. So I, I want to commiserate with all the staff. I want to commiserate with the, the ent entire family and pray that the good Lord whom he tried to, 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 to serve, he tried to serve God to his best of his ability, will give him eternal rest and give all of you um, the joy, the peace beyond his life that you desire. Amen. It's a difficult decision to come by. Very, very difficult you know, uh, to reconcile that Chief, uh, High Chief Raymond Dukwesi is no more. Uh, for me, it, it's difficult. I don't know how to say goodbye. I don't know how to say goodbye because I believe he's still very much alive. I believe he's still very much with us. Uh, I have never seen, you know, a friend, brother, uncle, father, who has shown me so much love, the way he did when he was alive. We quarreled the most, we settled the most, we are best of friends. They know, even in AIT, there is no way I cannot meet Ezomo in his bedroom, office, even when they are holding board meetings. I have that access to go in, grab him out and tell him something I want to tell him. We've related very, very closely for donkey years, and uh, come here to even say, to even write, you know, leave a note on the condolence register is to me like uh, tearing me apart with a blunt saw. You know, I can't reconcile it. That's just the truth. But uh, when things happen, you get to see, you just got to appreciate God that no matter who we are. Our final destination is death, and will be lowered to Mother Earth someday, sometime. And you don't know the time, because the family still saw him yesterday, woke up, watched television, was watching inauguration on TV and all that, only for him to go and say he wants to do exercise in his gym, and the rest is now history. What will you remember him for? Ah, remember his armor for so many things. How many will I say? I will remember him like I know as a man whose devotion to hard work, diligence, you know, perseverance, resilience, and commitment is unparalleled. I remember when we, when we went to Syria alone to set up the AIT in Syria alone. For 17 days, we were on our toes. None of us could sleep for two hours. Because this summer will always be on the seat. We were signing documents, we were we printing. He would go with us to business center. He would sit with us because he wanted that AIT to come on air. Two weeks at that, point, at that time, when Bai Koroma was the president of Syria alone, and he wanted, a second, he wanted to give them an alternative voice in Syria alone. And he, he struck it within two weeks. Within two weeks, we got it right on air. You know, so it's a man who does not believe that there's no road somewhere. If there is a mountain around him, he say, let's go around the mountain. That is him. His sense of commitment is unparalleled. I have worked with him severally as a friend, as a brother. As a, even though we politically we disagree, but he would respect me for my views. He will always respect me for that. You know, 
I don't want to even come to terms to the fact that it's, it's no more because I, I'm still seeing his image looming large in front of me. But God knows why at this time. May his soul, his general soul, his gentle soul, his humanitarian soul rest in the hereafter. And I know God will grant him a perfect resting place. I know that.